Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving. Uh, I'm looking forward to today's shave. Today's shave is about friendship, it's about uh, things in the past, things happening now, things in the future. Um, that's what today's shave is about. I'll explain all as the shave goes on. So how are you doing? It's good to see you again and uh, I'm looking forward to this shave immensely. Um, as you've seen from the title, uh, this is the Gillette Heritage Razor. Uh, I was very, very kindly contacted by Ernie Rocca, uh, who is in the States, and he said, would you like me to get you one from Amazon? I know they're not available in the UK, uh, and Ernie has got this for me and sent it over, uh, along with a, a few other things in the box. But let me show you the razor first. So here it is here. You've probably seen it before, and there's been a, a few videos out already. Uh, it comes with this little uh, booklet. Uh, here, just put that to the side. Yeah, so here's here's this case it comes in. Three-piece razor with a, a pack of Gillette Platinum Blades. Uh, the Gillette Heritage three-piece razor. Right, so I'm just going to take it out. Well, actually, what I'll do while I'm getting this out of the box and stuff like that, I'll show you some close-ups of the razor and you can have a look at them and the box and stuff like that and everything that's in here, okay? So here is the razor here, uh, yeah, as I say, nice handle, just like that, nice standing on it. Lots of videos out there probably, uh, or there will be eventually, so I'm not going to go over it too much, but uh, you can see it all there. Yeah, it's nice. I, I, I love the case it's in. Um, yeah, so that's the case, the razor and stuff. Okay, uh, the blade I'm going to put in that, going back to Gillette's past as well, uh, it's the spoiler blade. Uh, the Gillette Super Stainless. Here they are here. Uh, they come in a pack like this. Uh, the spoiler. So I have one here. This is uh, on its third use. Um, you can see I've just written on the on the, uh, the wrapper. If you can see that. Spoiler. Just so I know where it is. Oh, I nearly cut my finger there. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. Uh, so here's the blade, Gillette, super stainless, and on the other side, there we go, yeah, so that's the blade I'm going to be putting in the razor. So something from the past going into something new um, in this razor, very similar to an Edwin, Edwin Jagger D89 head. I think the handle is made in the USA on this razor and the head is made in Germany. But there's the blade loaded into the razor. There is a little bit, a tiny little bit of overhang which you can see at the sides there. But very nice, yeah. I've taken a photograph of the weight and stuff like that so you've probably seen that in the last little bit of clips. But I'm looking forward to using that. So that's the thing from the present 
with the future, with the future, <laughs> with the, the blade from the past. Another thing from the present, um, this is a new soap. It's a limited edition from Phoenix and Bow. Uh, and this is Night Witch. And this is their take on uh, Shulton Old Spice. Look at that label. It's quite a uh, creepy looking, isn't it? I don't know why they've called it Night Witch to, I don't know what that has to do with um, Old Spice, but here's the ingredients on the back. Uh, where are they? Yeah. Okay, you can pause that and take a look. Yeah, so a limited edition. This is their homage to uh, vintage shirt and Old Spice. There's the soap there, unused. I just bought this a couple of weeks ago. I get a little bit from um, the puck. A little bit of the vintage Old Spice scent. It's not a spot on match, it's not supposed to be. It's their kind of tribute to, to that scent. So we'll see how it goes when we lather up. The brush I'm going to use is the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves brush, Tuxedo Knot. Yeah, I'm not sure if these are still available or not. I don't know, but nice handle, nice knot, nice brush. Okay, uh, I think that's everything. Right, let's wet the brush and uh, start loading the soap. So I'll wet the brush there on two flicks and I'll just go right in with that right away. Yeah, so um, Ernie Rocker sent me this uh, razor, the Gillette Heritage. He said as it wasn't available on Amazon in the UK, would he like to get me one and it can be like a birthday present. But when the box arrived, I thought, gee, that's a big box. It's a big box for a, a razor, but uh, there was other stuff in it which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. Just unbelievable generosity. Unbelievable. I could not believe it when I uh, opened the box and seen the things inside it. Uh, so thank you very much, Ernie. I really appreciate your kindness and generosity. Uh, and the shipping cost over <laughs> from the States to the UK. Unbelievable. <laughs> right, I think that's enough. Soap loaded on this. Let me just wet my face. Yeah, I'll show you the things in it. And uh, <clears throat> I was sent some stuff actually from another viewer. Uh, very kindly contacted me and said, I want to send you some stuff. Um, now these people, they're just regular shavers like you and me. Um, they're not companies, anything like that. So. They're just doing it out of uh, the goodness of their hearts. Um, and I think that's a, a common theme in this wet shaving society. Society? This wet shaving community. I was thinking of the UK wet shaving society. Yeah, this uh, community, I think it's a, it's a common theme. Some people, as kindness, just uh, really, really good. Um, yeah, I've had stuff from all over the world, not from vendors, I mean from just guys that shave uh, and I've sent stuff out to other people and yeah, it's a kind of, it works both ways. But um, yeah, I was saying I got something from another viewer sent and I was going to use that in tonight's shave. But then when that turned up, the Gillette Heritage, I thought, oh, I need to use that. So uh, I'll use the stuff I was going to use in this shave. I'll use that in the next shave. Yeah, I told you it was going to be a long video. Then don't sound the alarm. Right, let's uh, let's get going with this soap. Yeah, Phoenix and Bow. This is their nod to vintage Shilton Old Spice. So. Going back to the past with this, with the scent. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. It does, um, it does smell like it. It's not, as I said, it's not a, a complete uh, clone. It's not supposed to be a clone of the Old Spice. Just the fingertips here. It's a, it's a kind of tribute to Old Spice, so it smells Similar to it, very similar actually. It's not supposed to be a, a dead on clone of it.
Yeah, so I'll use that, whatever I was going to use. Now the person might be watching this, so um, the gift was from uh, someone in Mexico. They sent it all the way here to Scotland. Uh, some great things in there as well. So I will use that in the next shave. Yeah, just this, uh, the wet shaving community is just, it's just great. I'm just so um, honoured and proud to be a part of it. Look at that, really good. Yeah, I know Phoenix and Bo, uh, I know their soaps quite well. I know that they work, great performance. Yeah, it's a good scent on this one. It's, um, it is similar to the vintage Shield Mold Spice. As I say, I think this is a limited edition. I picked this up from the, uh, the gentleman's groom room here in Dundee, so I'll put the link for that. I think they might have some left. That looks good. Yeah, look at that brush. Nice lather. Alright, let me just get rid of that. Clean up here. Right, that looks good. Okay, let's uh, heat the blade up. Okay, A Gillette Heritage. A new razor from Gillette. Let's see how it goes with the Gillette spoiler. Yeah, it feels, um, it does feel similar to an Edwin Jagger, so an Edwin Jagger D89. So if you've used one of those before, you kind of know what you're going to get from this. It feels mild, but it's very comfortable. Quite a, quite a short handle on this. Yeah, not, not very long, I think it's maybe three inches. But, um, yeah, when I got this package in the mail, I uh, called Ernie in the States just to thank him personally. And uh, we got talking about these, this Gillette razor and stuff and, uh, you know, wondering if, if this is Gillette testing after the, the success of the, the Wilkinson Sword razor, Gillette then looked at that and thought, well, wait a minute here, there might be a, there might be a market for this uh, a DE razor. So have they thought, okay, let's give it a go. So they brought this out, which is probably relatively cheap to make. Uh, a nod to the past with a case, which will appeal to a lot of people. And have they then said, right, if this does well, we may consider bringing out another razor, but uh, one of the old ones like the Fat Boys or the Slim or similar, something similar to that. There's nice knurling on this handle. It's not slippy in any way when it's wet. I can... Uh, <laughs> I can smell that soap when I'm shaving under my nose here. And 
and it smells good. It smells. You do get a. You do get that Old Spice vibe. Right. Okay. First pass done. Let's see how it feels. Yeah. Nice residual slickness from that. Uh, Phoenix and Bow soap. Okay. I'll rinse. We'll come back for pass number two. More chat, and then even longer. Second pass. Third pass. Pickups. Chat. 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 Okay. See you soon. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Just gonna leave that wet and uh go back to this. Yeah, I think you can get Phoenix and Bow now in the States through West Coast Shaving. Um, I'm not sure if they have this, this scent, Night Witch, the tribute to the vintage Old Spice. The scent strength, when lathered, Probably about a five, a little bit halfway, not too strong, but you can smell it. That's a great lather. Very nice, I love this brush, so good. Okay, let's go across the growth with this Gillette Heritage. That's the French way of saying it. Apologies to any French viewers. <laughs> yes, this is the Gillette Heritage. I hope that doesn't mean something else in French. <laughs> My French isn't what it used to be. It wasn't anything ever. Yeah, I think we did, we did French at school. I don't know how I've gotten to that. <laughs> Yeah, very comfortable. The Gillette Spoiler Blade was uh, another gift from Chris from another cut above. Some people, I know a couple of people have given me those blades since, but uh, this one is from one of the packs Chris gave me. But it's super smooth. I'm just really pleased that um that Gillette have released this. You know, a lot of people uh, kind of went off Gillette with their, their ad advert campaign, their, you know, the one where, oh, I can't remember what it was, it was something to do with, I don't know actually. <laughs> you know the one that caused the big, uh, there was a lot of concern from a lot of people. And it kind of put people off Gillette. But like I said before, it doesn't, um, I don't tend to worry about stuff like that. It's, uh, it's just business. Listen to that. Nice feedback. Yeah, there's nice weight in this razor. Yeah, but as I was saying, If this gets Gillette back to, to making a DE razors, for me that's got to be a good thing. So, there we go, second pass done. <sighs> really nice. Let me rinse and come back for pass number. Uh, let's go French. Toi. 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 Okay. 
feels great. Really nice residual slickness. Let's go back to this for the third pass. Yeah, that looks great, look. Really nice. Yeah. When I do that, I'm getting the uh, the vintage Old Spice scent. You can, as I say, it's not a dead ringer for it. It's not spot on, but it's uh, it's their tribute to Phoenix and Bow, and it is very good. Yeah, so I don't know if West Coast Shaving carrying this, uh, the Night Witch, the limited edition, I'm not sure if they're just bringing them out in the UK or what, I don't know, but um, I know that the Groom Room here in Dundee has, or did have some, I don't know how, how many they have left, um, and Ian will ship it worldwide. Right, let's go for the third pass against the growth with this. Gillette Heritage. Feels great. Really nice. Yeah, th there have been some um, some videos already. Yeah, with the YouTubers making this razor. But I just wanted to give you uh, my thoughts on it. And I know it might be some people might say, "Oh, it's the same razor. Everyone's using it." Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't uh, put this on Amazon UK. Only seem to be available in the States, which is a bit of a shame. Thanks to kind people like Ernie. Um, there are ways around it to get one if you're in the UK. Get someone in the States to get it for you. Um, Ernie very kindly bought them for me. I did offer them the money, so don't go thinking that. <laughs> But some of the other things he sent, he sent me uh, like a t-shirt. I'll show you them at the end of the video. A couple of books, a soap. I got this big box. I was like, a big box for just that. <laughs> but there was um, other things in it. Right, three passes. Done. <sighs> Feels amazing. Let me rinse. I'll see if there's anything needing picked up. It probably will be, but we'll have a look. A look, a feel. Oh, a look and a feel. <laughs> Cold water rinse. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's um, super close. Yeah, there's hardly anything needing picked up. But we'll just do the usual uh, pick up routine. Yeah, Ernie also said this was his way of saying thanks for uh, making all the videos, and uh, we got talking about that too. Um, about how I love making these videos, and 
um, every time I put a video up and then it, people start to comment, I love it, like the interaction. It's a great way of uh, interacting with like-minded people, not just for me, everyone that uh, leaves a comment, um, takes time to watch and leave a comment. It means that everyone, everyone can interact. Which is what we like doing, isn't it? As wet shavers. We're a different breed, aren't we? <laughs> Traditional wet shavers are a different breed. We're kind, generous, we're um, a bit weird at times. How many brushes do you have? Why do you need all those brushes? <laughs> 62 razors! Why? <laughs> 142 soaps! <laughs> and 62 creams! Why? <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> Let's get back. Let's get back. Let's get back to the shape. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's have a feel about. There's a tiny little bit there. Three thousand six hundred and seventy six blades. Why? <laughs> I could go on forever here. <laughs> there's a great um, residual slickness from that soap. Really, really good. Feels great. <laughs> 126 bombs. Why? <laughs> Don't get me on the aftershaves. Right, okay, three passes done. Let me have a rinse. Wow. That feels really, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, face wash with this. Uh, Night Witch from Phoenix and Bow, you can see there, very good. Okay, let's go. I'll put this on, clean up my gear, rinse off, oh, what a scent. Yeah, it does smell like the old, Shilton Old, old Spice. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll clean up my gear, leave this on, rinse it off with cold water, and I'll see you for the post shave. And a little thing about this face wash, Kerry Burrows, the main man at Phoenix and Bow. He's the first guy I've seen doing this. So people say it's a Kerry Shaves thing, but it's not. I got it from Kerry. Um, whether he got it from someone, I don't know. But um, that's how I saw it doing it first. I just nicked it from him. <laughs> See you soon. Great shave. Yeah, the, the post shave feel from Phoenix and Bow soaps are really good. Okay, uh, post shave, straight to the aftershave, and it had to be, didn't it? Vintage Old Spice. Now, look at this little bottle. Like, there's the size of the brush. Look at the size of this bottle. This was another gift sent very kindly by a, a viewer called David. David Sarul, I think his name is. I can't remember. I think it's, I think it's David Sarul. Uh, he's from Georgia, somewhere. <laughs> here it is here, like Old Spice Aftershave. Uh, Shilton Incorporated. Wayne, New Jersey. 
eight and a half fluid ounces. Beautiful little bottle. It, it feels like plastic, but it's there's something inside it that, that keeps the uh, <laughs> it keeps the uh, aftershave smelling great. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, shake it up a little bit. Whoa, that's a lot in there. Let's not waste any. Whoa. Oh, 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 there it comes now. There, there's that scent. Oh man, oh, it takes me back to the 70s and my dad getting ready to go out on a Saturday night. And he'd come down the stairs from, uh, from his bedroom after getting ready, and he'd come down and he'd walk in, and you'd smell that old spice, and he'd be clean shaven, ready for a Saturday night out with my mum. Wow, takes me right back, superb, really good, not much of a sting from that, a little bit when I put it on at first but it's gone now. <laughs> right okay, uh, the balm is Night Witch from Phoenix and Bow Post Shave Lotion. Uh, botanically inspired it says. Uh, I'll give you a look at the ingredients there and if you want to pause that you can. Okay here we go. You see? Wow that's quite a, quite a big amount there. Let's go. Yeah smells uh, like the soap. Very similar to the soap. Oh, smells great. There we go. I'll just get my hands a wipe. And that's it. There's the shave. What do you think? Pretty good, eh? Absolutely. I'm going to walk out here and Mrs. Kevy's going to go, Wah, what's that? I'm just going to say, hey baby, vintage old spice. You ready? I should probably take Riley out after that. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> let me show you what we've uh, used in today's shave. The soap, fantastic. Phoenix and Bow Night Witch. Uh, this is their take on vintage Shilton Old Spice. Look at that label. If I do this, is it? <laughs> yeah, this is a limited release. I'm not sure how um, how many of these are left. But these labels are designed by um, Sarah Burrows, which is Kerry's wife. Um, yeah, she does all the labels. Very good. Um, the brush, excellent. DS Cosmetic, Kevy Shaves. Beautiful. Love it. Tuxedo knot. Uh, the razor, star of the shave. The Gillette Heritage. Brand new razor from Gillette. Inside that, Gillette Spoiler Blade, second use. Here it is here. Yeah, great shave. Quite mild, feels similar to the Edwin Jagger D89. Um, in terms of aggression, probably about a 4, 4 out of 10, something like that. Nice little short handle, comes in this uh, kind of leather, false leather case with King C Gillette on there. Yeah, very nice. What's inside it? So that should go back in there in the packaging. Um, we had a little face wash with the remainder of the soap. Uh, post shave was vintage Old Spice aftershave from uh, Shilton, Wayne, New Jersey. Yeah, in this little bottle. Thanks to David for sending that. Uh, and the, finished it off with Phoenix and Bow post shave lotion. This is the uh, Night Witch. Well, it's, a, it's a balm. They say post shave, it's not really a lotion, it's more of a, a balm. And there's the shave. Yeah, not one single whipper or feels great. Skin feels really nice. 
Okay, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much again, Ernie, for sending this and the rest of the goodies. I'll be uh, eternally grateful. I will be putting together a care package for you. Um, some things that I know you might enjoy. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure when I'll send that. Um, hopefully before Christmas. Hopefully before Christmas, but um, we shall see. If not, I'll be just after. Um, but we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. But we'll definitely be picking some things up for you. So thanks again to uh, everyone that's watched. Uh, sorry if it's a long video, but you got the alarm. Don't. 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 What did I say? Idiot. He does it all the time. <laughs> you probably think there's no one standing there, don't you? But in here there is. <laughs> right. Um, okay. Uh, I'll leave you. If you want to show, if you want to see the rest of the things that uh, Ernie Rocca sent me, um, I hope I'm saying your, your your surname right. Ernie Rocca. Is it Rocha? Rocca. I don't know. I'm assuming it's Rocca. But it could be Rocha. And so my apologies if I've said it wrong, Ernie. Let's just say Ernie R. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um yeah, if you wanna if you wanna see what, what else was in the package, stick around after the video and I'll show it. But if not, I'll see you in the next shave. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Uh spend it with loved ones, uh enjoy life. Uh, I hope the weather's not too cold and I will see you in the next video where I'll be using some stuff from a very kind viewer in Mexico. What will that be? Mm. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.